Welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel. Today, we will enthusiastically recap the movie Crank, High Voltage. An action, comedy film from 2009 and starring the famous actor Jason Statham. This film focuses after the events of the first film, after experiencing a kidnapping, Chev Chelios realizes that his heart has been replaced with an artificial machine. He tries to find Johnny, one of the gang members, to get his heart back. And, he goes on an exciting and dangerous adventure, so that his life can be saved. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Video. After the events of the first movie, Chelios was seen lying on the road. Shortly after that, a group of people came with snow shovels, then took Chelios away for some reason. They kidnapped Chelios and took him somewhere. Chelios, who was still semi-conscious, then woke up and saw that he was being operated on, and the doctor was trying to remove his heart. In the room, there was a man named Johnny Vang, who was the perpetrator of Chelios' kidnapping. After successfully removing the heart, the doctor then placed it in a white cooler box, then they replaced Chelios' heart with an artificial heart. Moments later, Chelios woke up and saw a yellow battery pack attached to him. Knowing his organs had been traded, Chelios tried to escape from there and had called Eve, but there was no answer. Before escaping Chelios had a shootout with local guards and managed to secure one of the guards and interrogate him. Chelios asked about who had taken his heart. With a shotgun attached to the man's ass, he finally said that the person who had taken Chelios' heart was someone named Johnny Vang, and Vang was currently at his club. Finally, Chelios left by car. On the way, Chelios called Dr. Miles again. He revealed that he was currently having problems again with a triad member named Johnny Vang, who had stolen his heart and exchanged it for an artificial heart. Dr. Miles who heard that was surprised because Chelios could still live. He felt happy, but he also said that it was likely that the triad had replaced Chelios' heart with the Avacor Total Artificial Heart, which is an artificial heart designed only for a few days before its power runs out. And in order to stay alive, Chelios must regularly electrify his body, so that he can charge his heart. Chelios, who was still confused while driving, finally had an accident that damaged his external battery pack. In a weakened condition, Chelios was seen asking for help from passing drivers to help him electrify his body with jumper cables. With a fully charged heart, he immediately ran to the drug club to find Vang. After arriving, Chelios immediately made a big commotion there. Vang, who was having fun, finally found out about Chelios' arrival, so he immediately ran away before Chelios caught him. Later, a woman named Rhea, from the drug club, appeared and was infatuated with Chelios. She also said that Vang ran away to the street club and was hiding there. When Chelios looked for Vang at the place, he was surprised to see his girlfriend, Eve, at the place and working as a stripper. Chelios approached Eve and asked what she was doing there. Eve said it had been three months since Chelios disappeared without news, Eve thought that Chelios was dead, because the voice message left by Chelios only sounded like the wind, and now, Eve was dating another man. <coughs> However, suddenly in the middle of their conversation, a Mexican mafia group led by Chico, showed up to look for Chelios. In short, after a fierce shootout, Chelios managed to overcome them. Chelios finally learned that the culprit behind all this was someone called El Huron, or the Weasel. El Huron wants to kidnap Chelios alive, but it is unclear what El Huron's true motives are. Chelios and Eve rush to leave the street club, but several policemen have surrounded and want to arrest them. Chelios and Eve finally manage to escape by using a police car and in the car there was already another street woman who had previously been arrested. Due to interference from the Mexican Mafia, Chelios eventually lost track of Vang. Fortunately, the woman knew Vang, she said Vang always went to the racetrack. When he headed there, on the way he was caught by a group of people protesting, at the same time the local police also managed to chase him. The panicked Chelios immediately left Eve alone, and ran away from the police vehicle. In the middle of the run, Chelios met someone named Venus, who took Chelios away on his motorcycle. 
Because of the similar face, Chelios thought Venus was Kalo, and it was revealed that Venus was the twin brother of Kalo. The difference is, he has apoplexy that can recur at any time. Venus saves Chelios to thank him for avenging Verona for killing Kalo. However, he reveals there is still one person who has escaped Chelios, El Huron. Chelios told Venus, if he wanted to kill El Huron, then look for it now. When Chelios was at the racetrack, he told Miles that he had lost power, even to find a source of electricity he felt he would not have time to do so. In such a state, Chelios did not know what to do. Miles then suggested that he do skin rubbing, because by rubbing it will generate electricity. He started the action with a male spectator who was none other than the late Linkin Park vocalist. However, because the action was so blatant, it made police officers come to secure it. Fortunately Eve who followed Chelios appeared and told the officers that Chelios just drank too much, and she would take care of him. With Chelios weakened state, he said do friction, Eve who heard that immediately had a brilliant idea. In that place too, they shamelessly had sex in public, while Vang who was in the audience only foam laughed at it. Immediately the energy was fully charged, Chelios who realized the existence of Vang, immediately chased him. However, Vang was able to escape again because in every escape he was always picked up by his friend using a car. After several actions and chaos caused by Chelios, it made him a fugitive and was reported everywhere. Chelios who was with Venus was suddenly visited by Don Kim, asking Chelios to get into his car and avoid the pursuit of officers. However, because Venus's apoplexy suddenly recurred, he was kicked out of the car. For the second time, Chelios thanked Don Kim for saving him. But Chelios said why someone from the triad members stole his heart. Don Kim explained that besides himself as the leader, there was a higher leader, the leader was named Pong Dong, and he was 100 years old. Pong Dong has been considered like God for triad members, one day news spread that Pong Dong was dying and needed a heart transplant. Don who happened to hear that, immediately chose Chelios as a sacrifice for Pong Dong, because of his resistance to poison, and as it turned out, all this was Don Kim's plan. Chelios who found out about it, immediately killed Don Kim and his men on the spot. On the other hand, Venus contacted his best friend, a gangster named Orlando. Venus asks Orlando's help to find El Huron and kill him. Meanwhile after Chelios managed to kill Don Kim, he then hijacked an ambulance and stole the battery for his artificial heart. After getting the battery, he accidentally saw Vang who was on the side of the road with triad members. Without further ado, Chelios immediately got out of the ambulance and chased him. In the process, there was a brief shootout, and finally Vang was captured and beaten mercilessly. When Chelios opened the box he thought contained his heart, but suddenly his facial expression changed, and it turned out that the box did not contain Chelios' heart. In the midst of confusion, Chelios then contacted Miles. Miles then said that according to his information, it turned out that three weeks ago Chelios' heart had been transplanted to Pong Dong. Miles asked Chelios to stay calm, because he had ordered someone to trap Pong Dong. Chelios went his own way, trying to find Pong Dong. He axed the dying Vang, but before Vang could speak, he was shot dead by Chico. Then in a quick scene, they beat Chelios unconscious and brought him to El Huron. Chelios was taken to an island where El Huron was waiting, it was revealed that El Huron was actually Verona's brother. Shortly after that, he showed Verona's head without a body, revealing that with the help of technology, El Huron could make Verona's brain temporarily alive, the goal was for Verona to witness the death of Chelios before his eyes. In the midst of the torture given by El Huron, Orlando and his gangsters suddenly appeared, followed by Venus and his group, so there was a fierce shootout between them. On the other hand, Miles' assistant managed to trap Pong Dong and bring him to Miles' place. Immediately at that time, Miles performed surgery on Pong Dong and took Chelios' heart back. Chelios, who survived, took Verona's head and kicked it into the pond. But after that, Chelios felt his artificial heart begin to weaken. El Huron, who saw Chelios, helplessly used the opportunity to kill him. But quickly, Venus saved Chelios before El Huron shot him and there was a fight between Venus and El Huron. Chelios, who had no choice, 
desperately climbed the nearest electric pole to electrify and charge his heart. With Chelios' current strength, he approached El Huron who was fighting with Venus. A very angry Chelios beat El Huron to death. After which Chelios walked towards the camera, showing the middle finger, and that's how the movie ended. What do you think of this movie? Please write your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, and support our channel by subscribing, so that we stay motivated to create more interesting content for you to enjoy. And until next time.